Uh, Hare Krishna, dear devotees, good family, welcome. Hare Krishna, my dear Anuradha, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. I understand that you have very little time today, so we will begin exactly on the dot. Please accept my humble obeisances, dear devotees, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to our Gurudevs. Today we have Her Grace. Anuradha Devi Dasi continuing our Srimad Bhagavatam series, Canto 1, Chapter 13. Uh, Dhritarashtra leaves home and the verse number is 24, which I will share with you right now. Over to you, Anuradha Mataji. Um, is everything okay? I will just maybe need a screen um, for, for if it's possible. Otherwise, I have also a book. And I can read from the book um, if it's okay, if it's a screen already. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that. Um, I'll be, uh, how to say, for that ability. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, I I'm apologize from the beginning because uh, I, I have actually Siva, to Sir Prashadam, I live in the temple, so I will be try to be brief as much as possible, and I will try to make really like beginning, a middle, and end, like that. I will go to the essence and a little bit turn up, and then we will have discussion after. Um, first, I will say the prayers for auspiciousness. You may join me. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupakadamayam Dadanti Svapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahaganara Gunatam Vitam tam sajivam Saradveta sarvadutam parijana sahitam Krishna Chaitanya devam Shri Radha Krishna padam Sahagana lalita Shri Vishakan vitam shcha e Krishna karuna sindhu dina bando jagat pate Gopisha gopika kanta Radha kanta namostute tapta kanchana gorangi Radha vrindava neshwari Vrishabano sute devi pranam Namami Hari Priye Pancha Kalpata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyaivacha Patitanam Pava Nebyo Vaishnava Vyo Namu Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Shri Gurudeva ki jai. Okay, so we will start uh, with the verse. I will uh, repeat a um, few times the Sanskrit. Agnir nishrishto datascha garo darascha dashitaha ritam kshetram danam yesham das datair asubikiat agni nishrishta datacha garo repeat. There's no need to repeat. No need, no need to repeat. Oh, yes. okay. Just that's. that's um, Oh, okay. Um, then we have translation and purport. There is no need to live a degraded life and subsist on the charity of those whom you tried to kill by arson and poisoning. You also insulted their married wife and usurped their kingdom and wealth. Purport. 
The system of our nature of our religion sets aside a part of one's life completely for the purpose of self-realization and attainment of salvation in the human form of life. That is a routine division of life, but persons like Dhritarashtra, even at their very ripened age, want to stay home, even in a degraded condition of accepting charity from enemies. Vidura wanted to point this out and impressed upon him that it was better to die like his sons than accept such humiliating charity. 5,000 years ago, there was one Dhritarashtra, but at the present moment, there are Dhritarashtras in every home. Politicians especially do not retire from political activities unless they are dragged by the cruel hand of death or killed by some opposing element. To stick to family life to the end of one's human life in, is the grossest type of degradation and there is an absolute need for the Viduras to educate such Dhritarashtras even at the present moment. Yeah. So we have here um, we can see very nicely how Prabhupada in that purport um, said that like so, some 5,000 years ago we have um, for instance that occasion that Ritarashtra uh, want to live a very comfortable life and he didn't want to give up his um, opportunity for self-realization, for advancement in spiritual life. And he wants just to actually um, be present in the family life and he stick to family life, to the end of his life. And this actually means the degradation of human, um, human life, like, uh, how to say, the opportunity uh, which Krishna gives uh, every soul to uh, make progress in life. And in Varna Ashrama system is very much systematically made that um, how everyone should uh, take shelter of certain um, ashram, of certain Varna, according to the Dharma, according to nature of a certain um, age, certain qualities, character of the person. And um, so you can see here that Vidura want to instruct Dhritarashtra. This was also mentioned in previous verse um, that what he would like to do, it's not proper and that he needs to this uh, comfortable life to give up and um, that because, uh, for example, I was when I was um, reading that text, it was actually the same with Arjuna. Um, when um, actually, what was his dharma? He thought, okay, I will now give up everything because on the opposite sides are my um, friends, relatives, and so on, and I will not uh, fight. And what is interesting here, actually, in Bhagavad Gita, it is said this contradictory um, statement that um, someone is very dear to Krishna when uh, he's equipoised in honor and dishonor. But here the instruction from Krishna to Arjuna was um, that he need to give up uh, the, 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 his honor, his, uh, um, how to say, um, to be inclined to be honored uh, from the side of the opposite um, army and he need to um, fight for the sake to please him. So here in that case, if we can maybe compare this, um, so, so to say like contradictory statement, we can see in that case that Dhritarashtra needs to give up certain i would say um inclinations some qualities which makes him degra degraded and in that case actually through vidura actually krishna wants to help um dhritarashtra that he will not be uh, have this degraded condition of accepting charity from enemies and um he want to uh 
the purpose of his self-realization is there that he will attain um, a highest goal of the human form of life as he um, his position was and that he will not just accept something because he will uh, feel more comfortable feel more um, easy life but he needs to do something go beyond his um, I just say beyond um, uh, his um, uh, my English beyond his conception that what he wants to do is right and that the result will be the same as he will do the different way. Uh, but Krishna wants to teach him through Vidura that he need to change something in his life and what we, we ourselves can actually learn from that is that um, because Krishna always wants to educate every single soul through the story, through the scriptures, through the Vedas, that, um, uh, that we have certain dharma and it, it's also written in Bhagavad Gita that uh, we have a certain occupational duty and if we do some other work, it will degrade us. Um, even maybe it can be easier for us, but um, it's kind of, it can be, um, makes us degraded because it's not according to what would please Krishna. And it's, it's the same as Arjuna actually should beyond his conception that, oh, what the result will be if I uh, attack and kill my friends, my teachers, and so on. So uh, we should not be actually, we should try to not to be attached on the results of uh, the action because Krishna protects us. We should have faith that Krishna will arrange for us because he's so um he's such a well-wisher and krishna will always make arrangement uh by protecting us by giving us opportunity to grow up in in our spirituality in krishna consciousness that he will give us many situations that we will think oh um what um what will happen um uh, in the in the situations uh, when we would, we don't know what to do, but um, then Krishna can arrange for us certain um, like situations that we will see how um, we can we can get out of the situation in the way that Krishna will be pleased. Devotees, first of all, devotees, because Krishna is very dear to devo uh, devotees, are very dear to Krishna. And we are dasa, dasa, anudasa. So Krishna will always arrange through devotees, actually, um, the best arrangement for us if we have a sincere desire uh, to do some Siva or, or some other think for the pleasure of Krishna and devotees and um, in that case um, Dhritarashtra uh, wants to um, to 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 go like on a really uh, comfortable way of life and that's the tendency nowadays of everyone that we have so many devices, so many electronic uh, devices and, and like machines, and we want to do very comfortable life. Um, and if you can see also how Maharaj is supported, uh, supportive about uh, like simple living, high thinking, like um, life on the land, and not so many things like uh, city, um, city machines and like that that uh, can actually degrade us and, and artificial food and in the covid time we have these um, jabs these injunctions which were actually even making worse than it is supposed to be because their ingredients are even not known and um, and we can have um, actually medical um, improvement by natural uh, sources as um, gingers and like this. So we can maybe connect also that we can, we want comfortable life where we do like Dhritarashtra wants. Um, I don't... 
Uh, yeah, I also, I don't know what is on the screen there. Um, I, but mm, something unusual. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, uh, uh, um, I, I, so I was connected, actually, connecting actually our tendency to make things um, easier and, um, you know, we, to make so many artificial, like Prabhupada was so against this, um, so many not um, needed things for comfortable living because nature, nature, mother nature actually provides so many things to serve Krishna, to actually that our um, fine brain uh, um, cells can be, everything for our health can be provided. And we, we make, um, how to say, so many like things uh, like artificial intelligence, so many machines, like even robots to, to, to do seva, to do service. But a human being have such a being soul in the human body, you have such a such a special opportunity to grow up in spiritual life, and we can actually um, advance so much uh, with intelligence which is given by Krishna, and we can actually do so much improvement in society by um, by making. Um, actually krishna happy and that we can actually use the devices for serving krishna but um, we always want uh, sense this is about actually sense gratification like in the Trashtra's case he want to live very comfortable life and um not to to make uh, like certain uh, what to say improvement that he can he can make different that he can um, say in english um, even of the risk of his humiliation he want to live comfortable life um, so we need to really this honor now for the kshatriyas that we really need to, to like arjuna like he was so much thinking about that honor um, so we should always think how we can serve Krishna the best. Sometimes we can fail in that uh, because we um, we want to certain uh, to do certain ways we want and uh, not how Krishna wants, um, and we kind of um, I would say artificially, like from our own plan screen plan. Uh, like we want to plan something and then Krishna have much more better plan. I can share some realization from my side quickly, briefly, how Krishna uh, really protect devotees and arrange the best ways like that even the Tarashtra will give up his idea and, and want to become more close to Krishna and uh, do what Krishna wants. I want to travel actually to Ratayatra in Berlin in Germany and I, I have reservation on the train and I don't know what my boss because the way there is 12 hours, my dear devotees, 12 hours from here where we are. But Krishna is so kind. He arranged for me a car and devotee who have a car and some other devotees which we go together. And then he also make sure that we have accommodation and prasadam. And I thought that I will need to go travel 12 hours there with bus and train and going like to, to, to change stations. So sometimes we plan things and Krishna see our effort like, yeah, she have um, or whoever have a really um, sincere desire to serve Krishna to go there. But uh, then he, Krishna reciprocate immediately. Like um, so, in the case of Dhritarashtra, we can be sure that um, he will be very much avar awarded from Krishna. Krishna will appreciate if uh, he will listen to the uh, Vidura's um, who, who Vidura instructions. He will, is a big sadhu. I'm just looking something. Um, so because he was kind of blind he didn't see actually that he's just degrading himself as having such a mentality toward um 
toward the family members and um, and himself. So um, yeah, sometimes we can be very much surprised how Krishna actually, when he see that at least we try, because uh, sometimes <laughs> we fail so much and mostly we are making aparada, we are making offenses to everyone and to Krishna, but we are not even aware of it. But Krishna really take essence, like he, he take Putana as his mother. She wants to make such a bad thing as um, poisoning Krishna, but he actually saw that she wants to feed him. So in that case, and many other cases, um, he saw, he extract the best out of a very bad bargain. Um, and um, yeah, Krishna always make arrangement for someone who at least try his best um, to come somewhere to serve someone to to um, to at least follow a little bit steps from sadhus who wants good for us, even if we are like a small child and we are falling down. And yes, we are making uh, you know um, we are not uh, to say qualified. And we are falling at the floor as a child wants to to make progress with with walking but yes at least we tried our best <laughs> and um I, I learned from that text actually that dhritarashtra actually uh, need to change his mentality and serve krishna as he wants as as per his varna and ashram Okay, um, I, I think that briefly I, I say at least something relevant and good for you from your, I have to say, blessings and your, um, because senior devotees are always uh, um, making uh, blessings uh, for the juniors and that uh, we can uh, make progress in Krishna consciousness. So I hope that you were satisfied with my uh, uh, um, serving to you so my um lecture so um thank you very much um could somebody maybe have some question or comment on the topic maybe thank you Anisata, for uh, presenting this verse to us and delineating your own experiences also about krishna's reciprocation and how important it is to understand the value of what we have received. Uh, my humble apologies. I thought I had stopped the screen share and that you were on, but unfortunately, I did not see that. My apologies for that. So we have Shilpesh Prabhu, we have Prema Bhakti, we have uh, SB is Rishabh Prabhu, and Alka and Shailesh Mamtora. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any realizations to share with, uh, yes, yeah, Shilpesh Prabhu, please go ahead. Hare Krishna Mataji, please accept my obeisances. All glories to Guru Maharaj, all glories to Shri Prabhupada. I just had some comments like uh, what this Dhritarashtra was doing, like living on others' charity. In the UK, we have a benefit system, and so many people falsely take benefits, like sickness benefits and so forth, just to live off rather than actually work, make the effort to do anything themselves, which I think goes against our sort of Vedic culture where you shouldn't really beg of anyone, but try to endeavor to make your way in the world. So yeah, what, what Prabhupada is saying in the purple, we, you know, we see it around us every day in this country. And you know, in that sense, it weakens people. And I've seen people who get stuck in that benefits trap. And in some ways, you know, they end their lives just like, you know, living off the state and, you know, just, just moaning about everything and complaining. So it's very common. So what Dutrashtra did was very, it's very, very common today. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, actually, um, everything is so relevant, like, uh, it's like eternal for uh, 2023 and 5,000 years ago, it is kind of everyone, uh, it's like universal, I will say, um, universal um, statement 
for soul for for um, a person's because varna ashrama is something which exists um, no matter the time and um, by this is example um, how one needs to improve um, you need to listen to sadhus actually this is this is the um, actually concept of like like um, I would say that we can see the concept of sadhu and someone who needs to um, listen and, and and think how to change life according to uh, Guru Sadhu and Shastra. I mean to to listen to sadhus, ne, to vidura. That how that was instructions for Dhritarashtra. So in that condition, the um, Dhritarashtra was um, how he decided to live. I hope I, I, I say properly. <laughs> mm. Yeah, very nicely said. And nice observation, Shilpesh Prabhu. So many people just, you know, whiling away their time, uh, making use of the governments, giving out welfare checks and food stamps and not really doing anything. Um, of course, some of them are genuinely unable to work, unable to do anything. That's different. But so many people try to get away with you know, some small disability here and there. They could work, but they just cash in on that to just while away their time and play cards or go to, you know, all sets of places instead of actually working and trying to make a living, contributing to society. So, which is a very sad situation today. And I was also thinking about what Anuradha said, that how careful one must be in Krishna consciousness. Because uh, if we lose our focus on Krishna, the, even Radhanath Maharaj says the ditch is very close to the road. However far we have come on the road, the ditch is very near. <laughs> so we can easily fall into the ditch and our consciousness gets affected by all the things happening around us. I'm just personally experienced this just now myself. I got distracted. So uh, we must keep our consciousness very high. That's the lesson I'm taking because Guru Maharaj says also that uh, Maya sneaks up on us very, you know, in a very subtle way. She doesn't do a frontal attack. Oh, you're fine. You're okay. And then she catches you just like that. So, yeah, it's a very, very razor's edge, spiritual life razor's edge. But it was so enlivening to hear about your trip to Berlin, Pratyatra, and how Krishna arranged everything for you so nicely so that you could go and attend the Yatra. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, it, it, it was really, you can see how Krishna is really, see our um, our wishes, desires, and then he support if it's properly utilized, properly directed towards spiritual advancement. Krishna always make arrangement that devotee can have the, the best way, like association of devotees, and a program and serving devotees like i have this really realization krishna it's so kind he always make um, some uh, arrangement for devotees yeah like can i give a testimonial to that as well uh, when we had the rat great yatra here a few weeks ago um, guru Maharaj was here and i haven't actually traveled on the train for 20 years because of my health and out of nowhere, my wife was going to the Ratyatra, and out of nowhere, I just decided to go. And I got on the train with my wife, and there was the train was full up. It was a Sunday, but the train was completely packed, and there was nowhere to sit. And this young boy and girl got up for me, and I said, would you like to sit down? And it turns out they were going to the Ratyatra as well, and they were Indian. And, they're, uh, you know, we we're talking about Krishna consciousness on the way there. Can you imagine? And, you know, I can't believe I managed to get to central London the first time in 20 years with Krishna's mercy. So, yeah, this is definitely true. We just have to make that endeavor and the magic happens. We call it Krishna magic. Hmm. Hmm. So nice to hear that uh, personal um, sharing of that personal touch that Krishna gave you through arranging for a nice seat for you on a crowded train which normally you would not have taken because of your health, but because you went for the Yatra, Krishna made a nice arrangement for you. 
Yep, and uh, we poured with rain, and we were all like huddled under a little marquee tent. And Guru Maharaj came in and started doing kirtan, Chandra Muni Maharaj, and he started raining even more. It was so it's such a blessing. It was absolutely beautiful. So we were all happy in the rain. It was absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. It's so nice to hear from different devotees the realizations how Krishna reciprocate through the mercy of the of the sadhus. Like that's just so amazing. Yeah. So if anyone else would like to ask questions or share their realizations or I just, I want, I just want to say I, I will need to go now. I'm so sorry. Because oh. it's okay. it's 30. Uh, to 12 30 sorry yeah okay 12 30 you have to go for your service okay thank you so much Anuradha, for a short but crisp class on this particular verse and sharing your realizations and thank you all dear devotees for joining in um we hope to see Anuradha more often and with a little more time at her disposal so that we can have full 45 minutes and then 15 minutes for questions she did say this is going to be a very short class so we did have that warning, but short but sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anuradha. Hare Krishna. And, Hare Krishna. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, dear good family. Hare I Krishna. can be present. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Okay, we will end the call now.